Hi, I'm Jason with One Stop Decorating Center, and you can find us at onestopdecorating.com. And today we're going to talk about a lot of the fundamentals that make shutters from One Stop Decorating Center different than other shutters. Why would you want to buy a shutter from One Stop Decorating Center? Whether it be a vinyl shutter, a composite shutter, or a real wood shutter, we're going to show you the reasons why you should buy them through us and why we're going to take good care of you. First, we're going to start with a lot of the basics of the shutter, how it comes from assembly to the actual installation of it. And we're going to start basically up here where the styles are. These are called styles, and this is called a header. And one of the most important pieces of this is this uh, piece of joinery. Okay? Most of our shutters, almost all of them, use a dovetail construction to assemble them or a mortise and tenon uh, assembly. And those types of joineries are what you're going to commonly see in furniture, fine furniture, fine cabinetry, things of that nature. Because the minute you don't have that, which a lot of poor made shutters have what's called dowel rod insertion. If you ever bought one of those pieces of furniture from a big store or something of that nature and you see those, those uh, dowel rods that just stick in, well that doesn't necessarily structurally stabilize a big shutter like this. So what you want is those Morrison and tenon joineries and what those do are the dovetails is they create a very very strong network up here so that we don't lose any sort of the rigidity or the squareness of the shutter for 20 something years because that's what you're paying for. You're paying for the product to last, you're paying for a timeless piece of furniture we want to make sure it doesn't go anywhere. So with that joiner you're going to be very comfortable with your investment. Also your styles. These are your styles. Very very important intricate piece of this. These styles with all of our shutters are what's called a reinforced style. It means we don't just take a piece of wood cut it down to a one and a quarter by one inch piece of product and just make it the side of our shutter and drill some holes in it. We actually take the products, reinforce them similar to reinforcements in a house and we'll actually laminate those and reinforce them so that we get no warping, no bowing, uh, no shape shifting of these styles because these are the sides. This is also what keeps it so square and if we lose that squareness these louvers will just go like this and shut and also you'll start to see the panels start to sag and, and kind of lean and that looks horrible. You spend the money for the product you want it to finish really well and that's that's what our goal is not only today but also in 15 years. So these two very 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 important. The next part comes the louvers and this is even more intricate because this is one of the number one things people see. They, they want to know you know how are they not going to warp, how are they not going to bow. All of our louvers that we use are an elliptical shaped louver which means they're a lot like a football or an airplane wing is a better depiction because an airplane wing can cantilever and go a long ways and not collapse. And that's kind of the point, is if you have an um, elliptical louver, you're not going to run into that, which is cool. So you'll find it's very rigid and you won't see that they're smiling. A lot of poor shutter companies use a flat bladed louver, which uses about 30% less lumber and also or composite materials, so you're getting less product for your money and it's also more prone to warping and bowing. Not good. Okay, And each one of our louvers, whether it be wood or composite, is built, or vinyl, is built in a different way. And we can go into that further later. Next we have a lot of the hinges. The hinges are a very important piece of this. One thing we pride ourselves at One Stop Decorating Center is we never take a hinge and just directly mount it to your jam. Well, you might ask, well, why is that bad? I mean, it seems logistic. Why wouldn't you just stick the hinge to my jam? Well, it's kind of like hanging a door without a door jam. You install this, you put this brand new door in, and it's like hanging it off a piece of a two by four. So you have no opportunity to adjust the shutter or hide any forgiveness for the window being square. So what we do is we take all of our hinges and on every single shutter attach them to a different piece of componentry. On some shutters like this one, you don't even see our componentry, but it's there. It's right back here. And you have this strip that runs right back down the backside that we attach to your window first this is one of the most common installation methods for us. We attach that strip first to your window, that's called a hang strip, and then we hang our shutter on it so that every single one of our adjustments is happening right on your, on your hang strips, not on your jams. So we're not drilling in and out, in and out, and destroying your jams. We're doing a good job of preserving your home, but also giving ourselves a very stable home to mount that shutter in. They also allow us to fill a little bit of light gap down the sides. Sometimes you might walk into your friend's home that doesn't have a shutter from us or something of that nature, and you'll see light going around all four sides. Direct light. Not, not ambient light, not illumination, but direct light. You can see the sun coming right through it. That's virtually unacceptable. You buy a nice piece of furniture, you should have complete light coverage on the sides so that we can control that.
So we can control light gap in a lot of different ways, whether it be these hang strips or actually one of our mounting frames. We build frames if we don't have the proper depth, which is common. A lot of people always come in our showrooms here in Kansas City and always ask us, you know, I don't have much depth to my windows. Can I really do a plantation shutter? The answer is yes, absolutely. A good shutter company should be able to give you options. Well, we can give you options. We have decorative frames that we do, whether you want a very intricate frame that goes on top of your trim, or we do a more clean box rolled frame like one of these guys. No matter what frame it is, we always do a good job of using what's called a Hoffman key. Again, getting back to furniture style assembly, a Hoffman key gives you a nice clean miter, done professionally. Some shutter companies, I see it every single day, that aren't bought from our company, just use what's called a butt joint. So there's no miter, it's just a 90 degree turn. Very, very sloppy. Not a very good product when it's all said and done. So you definitely want a nice clean mitered frame. We build shutters in multiple panel groups. So if you want a one clean panel shutter, this is called a one panel. So one panel, one shutter. We can do that. If you want a bay window and you've got you know four windows in the opening, we can have multiple panels. Some that you can open in a center like this. Or maybe you just want two windows on one, one window, or two shutters on one window, where you've got you know you've got a more country style home and you want that, that old traditional style shutter. We're actually able to do that with like a new, nice two panel. These guys down here are called divider rails, a very important part to make your shutter a little more versatile for you. A lot of people don't want to cut here, but they want a way to be able to tilt the upper segment separate than the lower segment. A divider rail gives you that flexibility. So maybe you have a nice double hung window where you can, you've got the jam running across the center. We can put this divider rail right there and that'll allow you to just completely close off the bottom get some privacy, you know, from the street or whatever, but still get some light in through the top. This is great. These don't have to be put at 50%. On a lot of shutters, we can put them up towards 70% so that you have a nice 30% segment at the top and a nice 70% segment at the bottom. Really gives you a nice architectural look and a lot of flexibility when you want to operate those shutters. Get some light off the TV, whatever it might be. But the divider rail is a great, great, great option, okay? We also offer two styles of shutters. One being front tilt. This is your classic, your traditional style shutter. A shutter that we use every single day. It's been used for a long time. And that's with the tilt bar on the front. This is a front tilt connector, okay? And you'll notice I called it a front tilt connector rod because it is a connector rod. It simply connects these louvers to a network so that they all move the same. Now, any shutter you buy from our company, we try to actually teach it not to use the tilt wand. I know, sounds silly, but we try not to. Because when you move the louvers like this, you're taking the stress off of this. And again, we're trying to preserve your product so it lasts the longevity that you invested in, that 15, 20, 25 years. And the more stress we take off of this, the longer the shutter lasts. It makes it a lot simpler. Well, a lot of people have a lot of grids in their windows or have a lot of obstructions, but don't want a division going down the center of the window. Well, we make a product called Hidden Tilt. Also, it's called Rear Tilt or hidden view or clear view, a lot of different names for this. We'll just make it simple. They take the wand off the front and we move it to this back corner. And so by moving it to the back corner, it allows you to basically open and close the louvers as a network without that connector rod. Cleans the shutter up, gives you a little bit more modern of a look. Um, just a much simpler concept when it's all said and done. It looks gorgeous when you have multiple panes in the windows. Uh, it just gets rid of that dissecting line, which is a big, big deal. Now, with most shutter companies, um, you'll find that the rear tilt feature is a little more cost, but in, in most applications, it's going to be a worthy investment, a very worthy investment. We offer a lot of specialty applications. That's one of the biggest benefits to a wood shutter, and we'll get into that later, is a wood shutter is mendable. So we can do a lot of cool stuff, but we can also do it in composite and vinyl, but just not as further in depth, such as a French door cutout. French door cutouts are awesome. You can actually modify around those really classy handles or levers that um, you know builders are putting in homes these days where you've got that lever so you can tilt the open and close, but you can still have a nice shutter on there. Okay, So a really nice modification. We do sunburst arches, so if you have a nice arch top opening and you want to be able to cover it but have something that aesthetically looks proper, then we do a beautiful arch top shutter. And that actually happens to be a sunburst version, which means it bursts open. And then the arch top louvers are just straight louvers that go up and arc at the top. So it doesn't have to have that arc if you don't want it, which is, you know, nice in some respects too. 
just depends on what you're looking for. With all that, I know we've thrown a lot of different things at you, I've given you a lot of different information. The best part that you obviously want to know is that no matter what option, no matter what way you order it, no matter what shutter you buy from this company, it's going to be the right shutter for the right window, it's going to be very high quality. And you can expect that from One Stop Decorating Center. Certainly come find us at www.onestopdecorating.com. Thank you.